That would look good. Look at that. Perfect fit. I like it. We get the flat side up against the wall. Wet the rock. Put a good bit of cement behind it. And just throw it in there and hold it. Momentarily. And this is day three. And we are about a quarter of the way up on the back wall of the fireplace of the stone heart. And now we're going to continue up to that line and then we're going to have uh, some reinforcement straps uh, up at the top. So, and I went ahead and put a tarp there so I can set my bucket on top of that. And uh, it got really messy doing this bottom part. But, uh, you know, we cleaned up pretty good. I'm gonna get started over here. It's already humid, guys. It's already like, I don't know, let me see. 73, almost 74 degrees, 82% humidity, guys. So it's 72 going on 85. <laughs> it's very warm already. It's already, and the sun hasn't even made it up here yet, so it's gonna be a hot day. So I want to make sure I have enough cement holding the rock from the bottom. So most times I'll go back and just fill in some of the holes. I'm going to let it set a little and then I'll go back and fill in some of these gaps in here. They set pretty quickly, I have to say. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so Again, balance for me is everything, so I want to make sure also that I install rocks randomly, some of the larger ones, not just a bunch of small ones and then go back to larger ones, so that the, the entire job is balanced and it looks balanced. So randomly we want to place a larger rock, smaller rock, medium sized rocks and just kind of, you know, create kind of a random pattern, as random as possible. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to that side because this is while well, this is setting a little. Remember, we were doing that yesterday. Now I'm gonna work on that side, gives this a chance to cure for a bit, and then I come back and, and lay more stone on top of it. You know, guys, like I was saying, randomness is key for me anyway. I've done two other stone hearts in the past using the same exact method and cement and everything I am using now, I'm doing now the same exact thing and they're still they're still holding strong the one we did on the, uh, in our main cabin over here we did like two years ago and it's looking great, so no cracks, nothing. And I'm just using standard concrete. That's it. Mortar mix. It's very fine, just sand in it.
it's a bit tedious, you know, but I love it. And I guess, you know, in my life I've always had uh, patience when it came to doing things like this. I'm impatient because I want to get it done quickly, but at the same time, I'm patient while I'm doing it. Kind of contradicting maybe, but <laughs> I guess I'm a little contradicting individual. All right, let's see here. Now, that one looks good. I like to use those long ones like this for the edges because I think they kind of frame it really nicely and they look good. So I try to use, not always, but here and there, I'll try to use some of these uh, long ones on the sides. And you know, I keep saying it, but I just want it to be as random as, it, as possible. I need a bigger rock right here now. So. Water. So we're gonna put a big rock right there, guys. Right there. We need a big one right there. All right. So let's see. side up against the wall, wet the rock, put a good bit of cement behind it and just throw it in there and hold it momentarily. So, particularly those bigger rocks, those bigger stones here, I, I try and hold it, you know, put some pressure with my finger for just a couple of, you know, maybe 30 seconds and then it should stay, you know. It's not hard, but takes a little practice and I'm no pro, you know. I finished the whole side. Here, look. I finished this whole side. I am so excited. It's a little hot, but 
we at least have all four sides from the eight foot line down now stained. We'll finish adding the architectural wood, or Mo will finish adding the architectural wood, and then he'll stain the top half. I gotta tell you guys, I love stonework. I, I really do. And I may not, I'm not a professional, you know. Just like, you know, I, I really love uh, carpentry, you know. And uh, even though that was never my profession, uh, you know, but uh, not even close, but. I just enjoy it. I just like really, really like construction, and I really like uh, you know stonework and masonry work and things like this a lot. Like I've done quite a bit of tile work. We, when we redo our bathroom, you're gonna see you're gonna see me doing tile work. I did tile work on a previous video we released uh, when we did our uh, renovation, the renovation for, or rather the addition for our three season porch. Because we really can't use it in the winter unless we put a heater in there. So it's a three season porch. But it's, it, it really turned out great. And if you get a chance guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, oh, that one came off. If you're new to the channel, go take a look at it, and uh, I'll leave a, and try. I'm going to try and put a link up here uh, if you're interested, and you can see that whole uh, three-season porch addition that we did on our main cabin. This needs to be on video because the whole rock fell off and that can happen. You know, a rock fell off from underneath it because I just put it in there and I just went ahead and piled another on top of it and my impatience and uh, so the, you know, the rock underneath the one I just put in fell off and now this one doesn't have to hold it. But I'm going to try and make it work. I'm going to try really, really hard to make it work. Regardless. And again, I am just holding it because if I don't hold it, come back in a little bit. And uh, so I'll leave that there. I'm going to add a little water to my cement so it doesn't dry while I wait for the rock to cure. And then I'll come back and remix it and we continue. guys think? I really like it. I really like it. It's going to tie the property all together between the doors and the gates and the barn. Little by little guys, little by little. How's it coming? I think it's coming okay. I like it. You tell me. Oh, looks good. 
right? Yeah, I like it. I think so. It really ties in the gates, the door, yeah. the barn. They don't look like pallets so much. Yeah. <laughs> but we're planning on actually closing in some of the gaps on some of the bo on some of the pallets. Yeah, the bigger ones. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I think so. I like it a lot.